How much will it cost you to start as a freight broker? While the minimum cost is fairly low in comparison to a lot of other ventures, there's a lot of recommended tools and additional expenses that you'll run into when getting your freight brokerage off the ground. Hey everyone, I'm Nate Cross with Freight360. And in today's video, we're diving into the startup costs for a freight broker. I'm gonna try and keep this as basic and as simple as possible so you can understand the minimum requirements and what they'll cost you. Then I'll cover some additional tools that you'll want to have to succeed and how much you can expect to spend on those tools. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to add the Freight360 podcast to your playlist wherever you listen to great podcasts. Let's dive into the bare bone minimum requirements that you'll need to have in order to be a licensed freight broker. There's really only a couple of items here, and those are just getting your authority from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, also known as the FMCSA, and acquiring your freight broker bond or trust with a face value of $75,000. First, let's take a look at your freight broker authority. Every freight broker or freight brokerage company needs to be licensed by the FMCSA with a broker of property license. This license allows you to legally broker transactions between shippers and motor carriers with a few exceptions such as household goods. When you apply for your authority, you will use the unified registration system and pay a $300 application fee. Next, let's look at your bond requirement. Freight brokers are required to obtain a surety bond for at least $75,000, which is maintained to ensure that your motor carriers get paid if you fail to pay them for any reason. For example, if you were to go out of business but still owe money to some trucking companies, your bond would pay them out. A $75,000 bond won't actually cost you $75,000. Since it's technically an insurance product, you'll pay an insurance company an annual premium at a much lower rate in return for them granting you a bond. The insurance or bond company will analyze how likely you are to pay carriers by looking at data such as your credit history and credit worthiness. The better these are, the cheaper they will sell you a bond for. A typical bond for a new freight broker will range between $1,500 and $3,000. There is an alternate option to getting a bond, and that is to set up a broker trust fund in the amount of $75,000. That would serve the same purpose as the bond. The difference here is that you would have to fund the trust with your own money rather than paying the bond company to guarantee it for you. As a freight broker, there are some other costs that you may or may not pay depending on your situation. For example, you'll need to designate a process agent for legal purposes in all 50 states. You could technically do this yourself but most brokers just hire a process agent company to accomplish this for them. Additionally, depending on the state you're in, you might need to register with the Unified Carrier Registration System, which costs $59 per year as of 2021. Now that we've outlined the cost to start your freight broker company, what about the cost to actually operate your company? Let's look at some of the basic costs that most brokers will incur. Keep in mind, this list does not cover every cost that every broker will have ever, but rather it's just a generalized list that applies to the majority of us. Now, let's look deeper into insurance for freight brokers. In addition to your bond, you might need to obtain insurance based on your customer's requirements, such as general liability or contingent cargo coverage. These policies range depending on your coverage, limitations, and claims history. A policy can range from a couple thousand to over $100,000 per year in premiums, depending on the size of your company and your coverage. Next up is technology. And first on this list is going to be load boards. In order to have access to the market of motor carriers, you'll want to have a subscription to at least one load board. These online platforms are a meeting place for brokers and carriers to share their available loads and trucks. You can expect to pay about $300 per month to have access to the industry's common load boards. Thanks to our partnership with DAT, you can get a free month of any of their load boards by using the link below in the description box. 
In addition to load boards, you'll want a separate platform to manage your loads. A transportation management system, or TMS, is the software that you'll use to manage your day-to-day -day business. A good TMS allows you to enter load information, dispatch drivers, and manage the invoicing process. Without a TMS, freight brokers would have to manually track everything that they're doing. Don't cheap out on this and skip this one. You can get a really good TMS as a new broker for under $70 a month. Check out Ascend TMS if you're looking for something to get started with. You can even get a free month of their software, which is packed full of features if you use the promo code in the description box. Finally, we have to manage our money and make sure we can pay our bills. It's hard to put a number on how much it costs to cash flow your freight broker business because it all depends on how much business you are doing and how much of a gap you have between when you pay a carrier and when you get paid from your customer. The larger this gap and the higher your revenue, the more money you'll need to have on hand just to float this gap. Alternatively, you can use a factoring company to manage your cash flow. They will charge you a percentage of your revenue in exchange for invoicing your customers and paying your carriers. This alleviates your need to have a chunk of cash on hand, but it comes at a price. Expect to pay upwards of 5% of your revenue to a factoring company if you are a brand new freight broker. As you can see, it can be fairly inexpensive to start a freight broker company, which is why we've seen the industry flooded with new entrepreneurs all looking to help solve America's supply chain troubles. Just remember, if you don't have the right tools to do the job of a freight broker, you won't succeed. And those tools come with a price tag. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.